from last year for you personally? Uh, well, I'm older, uh, probably a lot worse looking. Uh, no, I think it's, uh, for me, it's, it's all about experience. You know, last year I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know, um, you know, going into to week one, what to look for, uh, what they were going to do, and, and now I know. And so, um, you know, I expect, you know, big things for myself from that standpoint of, of just knowing what to expect now and, and having that experience and uh, being able to, to uh, you know, relay things to my team and things to my players to, that, that, you know, I've learned over the last year and, and picked up and, uh, you know, how to make this thing more successful. Stephen Hogg's AP. Bryce, when you got here, obviously the class that you're with, guys, there was talk about the new stadium. There was talk about winning championships. As you get to this point and you guys have won a championship, you're moving to this new stadium, talk about how things have changed here. Yeah, it's, it's really, it really has it's changed tremendously uh, since I've been here. You know, just like, like you're saying, I mean, it, it was always just talks. Um, never, never really action about it. And so uh, just to kind of see where we've, where we've been freshman year as far as not only as a program, but the community and, and the support from, from everybody uh, to, to where we are now, um, it, it's huge. And it, it, it makes us, um, you know, strive to be the best to, to put out for you guys. And so uh, I think that, you know, being a part of a program that, um, that everyone's around you and everyone's supporting you, it, it just makes it that much better. Bryce, um, y'all played a couple of scrimmages over there. There was going to be a sellout crowd there Sunday. How excited are you about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely excited. Uh, so, so blessed uh, to be a part of, of this really opportunity for us. Um, there's been a lot of, of past, present, and future Bears that have, that have, you know, all put in work to, to get to this, to get to this point. And so, you know, to be able to, to, to trot out there as, as the quarterback of, of, you know, the 2014 Bears and open up a new stadium is, is huge for me. So I think that, um, you know, it should be, it's a privilege for all of us, but it's, it's one that's humbling too. Um, one that, that, you know, we need to make sure that, that we go out and um, not make it bigger than it is. Uh, we need to make sure that, that we have a, a purpose and a reason for being there, not, not just, you know, to open up presents, but um, to, you know, to wear what we open up. So um, I think, you know, speaking on behalf of all the guys, I think we're extremely excited to open that thing up for, for you guys and to, um, you know, the, the word is a palace, and so we want to protect that palace with everything that we got um, and, and put a team that out there that's just as great as, as what we're playing in. Nick Canizales, KCN. Bryce, I mean, the O-line, talk about them a little bit. Uh, they don't get uh, the credit they deserve, but, I mean, how good can this O-line be this year? Definitely. They, they really don't get enough credit. Um, they're, they're unbelievable. Uh, you know, my two tackles with Spencer Drango and Troy Baker are um, about as consistent as they can be. Um, very intelligent players, which is what I like. Um, you know, they're not just brawlers, but they're, they're smart brawlers, you know. And, um, you know, guards with, with Dez and um, – Blake and, and Laquan, you know, whoever whoever has that left guard spot, um, they've, they've done an unbelievable job of just rotating. Um, and then Kyle Fuller's been great all camp. Uh, I've loved what he's done. And uh, the, the cool part about it is you can just tell how much chemistry they have together. I mean, we've, we've really rotated a bunch of people in and out, and, and they've just done a great job uh, against, uh, to me, what, what's one of the best front sevens I think I've ever seen with, with what our defense is going to put out there. Um, you know, with Sean and Jamal and Bryce, those guys, they're, they're unbelievable. And so to go up against the best every day makes us better. And, and so I couldn't be happier to go against them and, and see those guys put in the work that they have and, and contribute and produce like they have. Bryce, uh, Tim O'Donnell, News Channel 25. Coach was just telling us you're just the second quarterback that's returned under under his watch here at Baylor. What's that been like for you returning, you know, this summer? And how's the experience been, you know, with the whole team just overall with you coming back? Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm excited personally. Um, it, that was one of the reasons that I came back was, um, you know, I want to be the best to ever play here. And so I think that uh, any time that you can get as much knowledge and, um, again, that, that word experience goes back. Everything helps. And, and so I'm, I'm feeling really confident right now with, with what, um, you know, I'm doing personally um, with the, the feel of the offense and the guys that we have out there and the coaches especially. Um, they instill that in you. And so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm extremely excited to, to be a part of it. Again, it's a blessing uh, to be where I am, and um, I'm, I'm ready to go. Paul Catalina, ESPN Central Texas. Bryce, you spent your summer working with George Whitfield, going to lots of camps. 
uh, learning more about the science of quarterbacking. How much does that change how you approach this season, or has it made it easier? What's the biggest difference with that after doing all that? Yeah, uh, you know, it was, it was a little bit spent time away than, than I guess I you know, wanted to with the, with the camps. They, they were all good. They were all productive, which is what I hoped for. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I think that it, it was just perfecting my craft. You know, I wanted to learn from the best and, you know, getting out there with George and talking football with Peyton Manning. I mean, you can't get much, much better than that. And so um, I think that, that going with all those guys, I don't, I don't know necessarily know if it, it if it changed anything um, as far as me playing the, the, the position. I think that it, you know, mechanically wise, Conceptually wise, you know how I how I see th certain things or think about certain things. That's really what um, I tried to kind of soak in and, and mold from those guys. But um, the quarterback position is is one that you're never gonna master. That you can always just work for and, and and try to get better. But I don't think you can ever master it. I think that's why you know the Tom Brady's, Peyton Manning's, Drew Brees. They always want to come back. It's because you can always get better. And so that's what I want to do. I want to be the best. Um, I know I'm not gonna master it today, tomorrow next week um, but you know I, I want to be known as one of one of the best quarterbacks to play and so I want to be around people that that, that are great um, think that makes me better so Pierre Newsom Casey and Bryce there's been a lot of talk about uh, you being potential Heisman Trophy candidate this year do you do you embrace that kind of talk do you try to block it out to not distract you how do you and how important is it really to you to, to try to get a Heisman Trophy yeah. Um, well, I mean, I think it's it's good for for Baylor. Um, any any time that we're in the national spotlight, I think that's great for us. And um, you know, I personally, I don't I don't think about it. You know, it's it's out of my control. Um, all I can do is control, you know, who I am today, the player that I am today, um, the teammate I am today. And so that's that's all that I worry about. I don't I don't worry about things down the road. Um, like like I said last year, I mean. The, the play on the field is going to take care of itself. Uh, you know, I just, again, kind of want to be the best teammate that I can be. So um, is it important for me to win? Heck, yeah. I, I, I would love to, to see my name on that on that trophy. Um, but at the end of the day, what's most important for me is, is a, a Big 12 championship ring and a national championship ring. If I can get those, I'm a happy camper. Bryce, Steve Cook, Sikkim Sports. With the stadium opening, the statue going up, everything like that, has it been kind of hard to get past that we got a football game coming up? Have have the distractions been hard for y'all as a team? No, no, not at all. I, again, it, it goes back to there's a, there's a reason and a purpose that we're getting that. Um, we've got, we've got a, a a stadium because of what we've done in the past, and and I don't want, and I don't think it's it's changed our mentality at all. You know, we we want to defend it. We want to attack in there and, and defend that that. Palace, you know, like I said. So, um, this again, the stadium's a great privilege, but there's a reason that we got it, and, and there's a reason that we're in it, um, and it's to play football. It's still, you know, 53 and a half yards wide and, and 120 yards long. So we want to make sure that um, the game that we play on that field is is Baylor football. And um, again, it goes back to that's that's the reason we're there. Brian Kaufman, News 10 Sports. Uh, two freshman receivers on the two deep that came out today. What have you seen from them and obviously pairing them with the guys that fans already know about? How much easier does it make your life to have guys like that surrounding you on offense? Yeah, that, I mean, it makes my job easier. Like I said all the time, they make me look a lot better than I really am. And, uh, you know, it, to me, it just it's just saying that, you know, when you can start earlier, um, you know, producing, uh, that, that tells you kind of, you know, the talent that wants to be here and the talent that coaches are getting. So, you know, with KD and, and Davion, I mean, they're, they're unreal. Um, very explosive, and I, I honestly knew, you know, the first time that we we threw routes and and they were catching, running around, that that they would be special. Um, but they got they got um, uh, they're in a, a pretty outstanding group of, of guys, and so you know when you look around with, you know, Corey, Jay Lee, Levi, uh, Antoine, Clay, um, you know, it's, that's pretty good company. So I think those guys will learn a lot. Um, I hope they do. And I think they, they're, they're hungry for that. You know, I don't, I don't think that there's that, that ego point that, um, you know, I'm better than these guys. I think they're very humble um, in that sense, which I'm, I'm pretty proud of them for that um, because I know that's, um, there's a lot of talk and hype, you know, going into recruiting nowadays. And so it's kind of easy to get young guys get that big head. And so um, I've been really impressed with how they've handled um, camp and how they've handled the, the whole – college mentality and, and things like that. So, uh, but they're, they're in very good company. And it, again, it makes me look a lot better than I am. 
Cody Soto, Baylor Lariat. Um, Bryce, how does it feel knowing that over 5,800 students um, reserve their tickets in under an hour? And just talk about how the student body and what the support means to you and the team. Yeah, I actually got a, a cool. I was I was with um, one of the one of the students here that tried to get a ticket at I think it was 5:11, and the servers were already down and had been down. Um, you know, just from I don't know. I'm not an IT guy by any means, but I think that means there's a lot of people trying to get tickets, and so uh, that's that's huge for us. Um, that, that's just you know, again, it's um, a, a true testament to to the hype and the support that we've got you know over the the last couple of years, and so now it's just at all time high. And um, again, it's it's a blessing to be a part of, and you know, we we want to put out for you guys. We want to show out for you guys, and so um, you know, just that is is motivation in itself to um, for us to to do well. Bryce, uh, have you had a chance to look at SMU's defense at all, or no? mm -hmm, yeah. what, what do you see there? Oh, man, they, they, they're extremely, extremely well coached. Um, good defense, got a lot of good players. You know, I think that um, it's easy to, to overlook um, things, especially with the distractions that we've got going on. But again, it's it's about playing football, and, and we got to make sure that that we're on our game. Um, you know, last time I checked, our last game we lost, and so. We want to make sure. I want to make sure that that doesn't happen again, uh, especially these guys that that you know I'm I'm out there playing with. So um, it's it's motivation for me to make sure that that you know all my T's across, dotted eyes, and 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 um, you know again going back to their defense, they're they're extremely well. They got a lot of good players and uh, good schemes. So um, but I I have no doubt that you know Coach Browse and his staff will have us prepared, and you know Coach Bennett on the defensive side, and um, you know. We're ready. Players are ready. So um, we're just ready to get back to football.